a cartwheel in five minutes. No nonsense, no experience needed, super easy, and you can do it at home. Let's get started. First warm up with the down dog stretch. This is a great way to stretch out your arms and legs as well as get used to the feeling of being upside down and supporting yourself on your hands. Progress to the three leg dog where you kick one leg in the air and keep the strong foot on the floor. Since I'm a righty, that means my right leg stays on the ground and I'm kicking my left foot straight up in the air as high as I can. Now we're gonna do back and forth kicks. So go into a three leg dog position and kick your foot up and down, back and forth as high as you possibly can. Keep your legs straight and squeeze your stomach so you stay stable. Now we'll do the same kick ups as last time, but we're gonna add a tiny hop to the bottom foot. Notice how my kick ups look very similar to last time, except for my right foot is coming a few inches off the floor. The trick to doing this is to squeeze your abs super tight and focus your weight onto your arms like you're doing a push up. Also, remember to keep your legs straight so you can balance. The next thing we're going to do is exactly the same as last time, but we're going to add a tiny little switch at the top. Definitely do not have to get your legs as high as I do. It is important to practice the switch move. This is a little bit harder than the last drill, but I promise you after a few tries, it's gonna be easy as cheese on a cherry pie. The trick is to shift your weight in your hips just slightly once you kick your leg to the top. So you're gonna go up, up, and down. Up, up, and down. Up, up, and down. Once you've got that, you've pretty much almost got your cartwheel. Now we're gonna do the exact same down dog as the beginning, but you're gonna turn your hand sideways instead of forward. So this is what it's gonna look like. Now try your switch kick. Find that it's really hard to stay stable and in place with your hands turned sideways. The trick to staying stable is to kick your feet to the other side of your hands. Practice that drill a few more times, letting your body naturally twist sideways a bit. Remember to point your feet and squeeze in your core so you can stay stable and go in a nice long line. You got that down pat, there you go, you got your cartwheel. Wanna learn how to cartwheel like a pro? Keep on watching. Start with your hands up in the air, touch down position, squeeze up as tall as you can. Take one big step forward with your good leg. For me, that's my right foot. Then go straight into that sideways downward dog position. And do the same switch kick drill as we practice. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your abs, squeeze your arms, stand up tall. And there you go, you got your cartwheel. The way the pros do it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials very similar to this one. Subscribe if you wanna see more tutorials like this. I make stuff for general fitness and health as well as performance sports and skill specific videos. I always take video requests too and I reply to all your guys' comments so make sure you leave comments below and let me know what you thought or what videos you wanna see next. I will be uploading very soon. I'm getting my video schedule back on track after my computer crashed recently. Anyway, that's another story, but you can go follow me on Instagram and I'll tell you guys more about that later. Anyway, bye.